what's the, 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 the emotion for you guys between the excitement, joy from what you accomplished to still having another mission, another goal ahead of you? Where's the balance of the emotions right now for you guys? Uh, I mean, we're all pretty happy right now, obviously. We just came off a great weekend. We've been we've been rolling this past uh, second half of the year, and everybody's uh, pretty happy right now. But, you know, we got to put in perspective what we have to do now. And, and you know, we got four more games, hopefully, and, uh, you know, we'll go one by one here and take every game just as every other game and uh, do, our, do our work, look up the team, and, and prepare for the game. Everybody's got a different theory, a different reason why this turnaround happened, what happened for you. What what was the key? What was the spark? You know, I think uh, I think that there was just a lot of things going wrong. You know, we had a lot of adversity to deal with. We had guys out of the lineup. We had injuries. We had uh, just line combinations were off, things like that. So uh, once we were able to get guys back in the lineup and, and, uh, and just – you know, have the team that we, we were drawn up to have in the beginning of the year, that's when we were successful and uh, we got in a groove and everybody everybody bought into the system and, uh, you know, now look where we are, so it's good. What's the what's the lesson? What does it prove what you guys were able to accomplish? Everybody's always looking for a message out of these sorts of things. What, what does it prove? What is the lesson? I think that we're a strong, mental, we're a mentally strong team and, and physically also. I think that uh, when you can battle through adversity like that, uh, through ups and downs in the season, it really shows the character of the guys in the locker room. So. Uh, I think right now we, we got a good test in the beginning of the year, and uh, we, we, I think we overcome that part, and now we just have four more games to go. So. Fair to say you feel you're playing your best hockey of the year right now? I think so. Uh, I think that I play my best when, when the game's on the line, when there's big games, you know, pressure games. I think that's when uh, you know, I show up the most because I feel like I'm needed the most in those games. So, um, yeah, so I think um, I'm playing pretty well right now. I think my lines are doing well. The whole team's playing really well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun to be part of this team right now. Did it take you a while? Because you had to sit out those first 10 games. <clears throat> There's obviously that eagerness, that rush once you get back there with the, with the Denver series. Few. Was there a little time it took you to settle down and say, like, I don't have to get it all back today. You can't do it in one game sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, Coach Coach really emphasized that on me. Um, he uh, wanted to make sure that I wasn't uh, going to just try to put all my energy, that all the 10 games that I missed, and try to put it in my first series against Denver, you know. So uh, he, he calmed me down. He's like, just do little things right, play simple. Um, and, you know, time will come, and, and you'll, you'll start producing, and that's just how it's going to work. So uh, I took it a little bit slower and, and just got back into it and, and found where, where my role was with the team. And, and then I think now that I'm comfortable with everything that I'm starting to produce, I'm, I'm starting to play a little bit more comfortably and know where I am on this team. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, things are going pretty well right now. How much do you think the team's turnaround has coincided with you coming back? <laughs> Not to give yourself no. a ton of credit, but... <laughs> No, I mean, it, it, honestly, I think it's a, a lot of things. I think we had, like, Mark Zangley, of course, he was out of the lineup with some injury. You know, we had Derek Lee. We had Morgan Zolnick not in the lineup. So, um, I mean, we just had some things that were going off. We had a coaching change and things like that. So things were a little bit funky, you know. You uh, you got to get in a groove and practice. It starts with practice. And when you have to change lines all the time, uh, it kind of kind of messes things up. So uh, I think that I think everybody just coming back together and being being uh, where we're supposed to be and having everybody in was just the big thing. Were you ever hearing things from people around campus or just anywhere else like when the, when the team got up to a four star? Like, what's wrong with this team? Or I mean, was everybody just totally shocked on the team that things were? Yeah, I mean, you, you got to look at the projection, the rankings in the beginning of the year. I think we were ranked like 15, 15 or something like that. So. Uh, with that poor start, I think uh, people around the around the campus were a little bit, you know, like what's going on right now. But uh, but I think that they stuck with us, and that's the kind of fans we have here. So uh, obviously, I think it's paid off, and and you know they traveled to Minnesota with us. We had fans there, so uh, yeah, I think they're they're happy now. So we, we're just gonna try to keep going. How 